When you walk into the Tyler Mahoning Valley History Center in downtown Youngstown, you get a glimpse of the past. Amazing pieces of the Valley's history sit on display in the gallery. But don't let that confuse you. The History Center is not a museum. This is really a community center which is themed and steeped in our region's history. So you can come and do research, you can come and learn about local history, you can come and rent our event spaces and have a family or an organizational or a company event and in the process you're supporting our organization but you also have the opportunity to learn about our region's history so that's what's unique about this. The History Center is eight years in the making and still not fully operational. William Lawson, the executive director of the Mahoning Valley Historical Society, hopes that will happen in the next eight or nine months. He gave us a tour of the landmark building, starting with the third floor, which will house an education center. The second floor is a beautiful banquet room that's available to rent for all kinds of events. The basement houses the Historical Society's extraordinary archive collection and the first floor is set up for exhibit space, currently showcasing the Rock Gods exhibit. It represents the work of three artists, two of which are based here in Youngstown, uh, Tony Nicholas and Chris Yambar, and then Janet McCoska, who is based in Cleveland, who is world famous for the work that she's done in terms of photographing rock and roll, and pop, and, and other entertainment figures. And so we have all three of their respective works represented here in, in the exhibit and it's really visually stunning. This space will change on a regular basis, allowing the History Center to collaborate and partner with other organizations in the community to exhibit materials that relate to the Valley's history. A history the Mahoning Valley Historical Society has been a part of for the last 140 years.